Hey everybody, welcome to thedrumshed.com. In today's lesson, we're going to be working on a few more bass drum ideas using eighth notes. We're going to be putting them in a couple different places in the bar to give you guys a couple more options and start you on your way to coming up with some more interesting patterns. We're also going to dive into a couple new patterns that we can use for our fills so that you guys can expand your vocabulary there as well. So, in your most basic beats, your bass drum usually just falls on one and three, snare drum two and four, hi-hats playing eighth notes. We're going to keep the hi-hat and the snare the same for the, for the beats today, but we're going to work with our bass drum and try to get a couple more interesting patterns happening there. So the first place to start is usually on beat three of the bar. So before we had a pattern that went something like this. Now we're going to add on beat three an extra bass drum. So instead of having that single bass drum on beat three, we're going to have two bass drums. So it's going to sound something like this. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. And it's always a great idea to count out loud while you're working on these beats too. It helps you keep your spot in the measure, especially as we're changing different parts of the measure. And it'll also help reinforce the pattern you're trying to play. All right, so I'm going to give this to you at a couple different speeds. First one we're going to do is at 80 beats per minute. So if you want to set your metronome and play along after you watch this video, this is the, that's the tempo we're going to play first. All right, so beat one, 80 beats per minute. One, two, ready, play. All right, so once you've got that first pattern down, you can go ahead and start doing some experimenting by adding bass drums in different spots in the bar. Any of the eighth notes are fair game. The one thing I would avoid when you're first starting out is doing the bass drum with the snare on beats two and four. Sounds kind of like this, where you have all three hitting at the same time. It can sound a little bit muddy, and if you don't hit it exactly on so that your hat, snare, and bass are hitting it exactly the same time, it can really wreck the sound of your groove. So what I would recommend is sticking to any of the eighth notes around that two and four. So I'll give you a couple examples of those to start off with. First one, let's add an additional eighth note to what we had just done. So in the last beat we had one and then three and for our bass drum. Now let's also add a bass drum on the and of one. So we're gonna have two bass drums, to one snare drum. It'll go one and two, three and four. All right, so here's that. Again at 80 beats per minute. One, two, ready, go. So once you get those two patterns down, you can start to get a little bit more broken up with how you put the bass drum in. For instance, we might just put one single bass drum in on one of the ands. So far we've been having our bass drum fall in the strong beats of one, two, three, and four to start all of our patterns. Stuff starts to sound a little bit cooler when you displace that bass drum and put it on the ands of a beat. So on the and of one, and of two, and of three, and of four starts to sound a little bit funkier. So what we're going to do in this particular one is we're going to add a single bass drum after beat two. So it'll be on the end of two. So you're going to have a bass drum on one, snare drum on two, and then a single bass drum on the end of two, and then a snare drum on four. Again, the snare is going to stay in the same spot on all these examples today. All right, so here we go. Let's try example number three, bass drum on one in the end of two. One. Two, ready, go. All 
All right, to take this even a little bit farther, we're going to add a couple extra bass drums on those ands. So instead of just having one bass drum falling on an offbeat, we're going to have a couple of them. We're going to put a bass drum on one. We're going to keep that one there because it really gives the band a sense of solidity to have a bass drum falling on one in a rock or funk style. But we're going to move that bass drum around quite a bit in this next example. We're going to continue with the bass drum on the and of two. And then we're also going to put it on the and of three as well as the and of four. And when it turns around, you're going to hear a double that goes and one, where we land back on beat one. So the pattern will be bass, snare, bass, bass, snare, bass, bass, snare, bass, bass, snare, bass. Or if you're counting it, one, two, and, and, four, and, one, two, and, and, four, and, one. All right, so here we go. Fourth example, 80 beats per minute. One, two, ready, go. So once you get those patterns down at a slower tempo, the next thing is to start to speed things up a little bit. The best way to do that at home is with a metronome. So start to speed up in small increments at first. Maybe start at that 80 beats per minute that we were just doing, and then bump it up by 5 beats per minute. Go 85, once you get that down, go to 90, then 95, and so on. If anything starts to get uneven in your beat when you're speeding up, stop, slow it back down a little bit, and work at that previous tempo until everything's lining up really nicely. We don't want our bass drum kind of hitting off the hi-hat a little bit or the snare hitting off the hi-hat a little bit. We want everything to line up really consistently because that's going to give the other musicians we're going to be playing with a really good sense of rhythm and a good strong beat to line up with, which is our job as drummers. All right, so the tempo that I'm going to do next for you is a little bit of a big jump from 80. We're going to go all the way up to 120 beats per minute. So this would be a good goal, you know, maybe after a week or two of practicing to be able to play this consistently at 120 beats per minute. Um, 120 beats per minute is a really common tempo used in a lot of pop music and um, uh, dance tunes. If you put your metronome on with a lot of songs on the radio, you're going to find they fall at this 120 beats per minute tempo. So it's a really good tempo to get comfortable playing in. So I'll go through each example, one, two, three, and four. We'll play each for eight bars at 120 beats per minute. All right, here we go. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. Please like and subscribe to keep up on all the new lessons and reviews. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and leave a comment below letting us know of any new lessons or reviews you'd like to see in the future. Also, if you enjoyed the lesson, please consider donating to thedrumshed.com to help fund future lessons. Just click the donate button on the main page of our website, and thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the shed.